Phoenix healing. Why is it called Phoenix healing? Metaphorically speaking, that's exactly what it is. What does the Phoenix do? I'm Jason at AwakenedEssence.com Phoenix healing came about because when I was uh, leaving the fourth phase of the awakening process, matured abidance, and starting to enter transpersonal, I was asked to create a range of essences with uh, some of my crystals, particularly the crystal caves. And as I started doing that, it went into a very long initiation testing um, essence making ritual. This is the thing with spirit, it loves ritual and symbology and all the rest. So this 42 day process was extremely intense. I made quite a huge range of uh, essences, you know, like bark flower remedies, but to do with crystals, crystal caves, and the Ascended Masters, Archangels, Palladian Emissaries of the Light, Syrian Emissaries of the Light, quite a large crew because I've vetted many over the years. Um, turned up and we imbibed the essences with their essence and the teachings uh, through the various caves and crystals. So as part of that process uh, some really amazing things happened. And the first, one of the things that happened was took some of the caves and their essence waters that were still brewing, collecting and, and imbibing the vibrations of this intense, very, very intense presence non-stop from the second I woke up till I went to bed type process. So they captured that awakened, matured abidance, awakening energy into the waters and went camping out there in the bush and did a fire, a ritualistic fire, with some of the crystals and their brewing essences and I took some photos and lo and behold when I got home <gasps> there was the first phoenix which was the dovey one that was bowing over to the Merkaba Amitrine wand. So, <laughs> oh, I'm getting goosebumps. The Merkaba is uh, your highest esoteric structure, it's the three dimensional star of David, it ties into sacred geometry, it's part of Metatron's cube, um, and this this phoenix is literally bowing to it and in the background of that photo as is shown by the uh, cover shots in some of the videos and also a whole section of the Laws of Grace course is uh, that, that, that phoenix with uh, Baby Krishna Cave, Hydro Cave and uh, Melchizedek uh, Amethyst Cave who's about yay big. Pretty special, pretty special. The energy that night was, <laughs> and that's out in the bush. So that was pretty exciting. Then after I'd finished the essences and completed them and stored them and put everything away, went off to the, one of my favourite spots to have do some camping. Again, had another fire, took a bunch of the caves, uh, Melchizedek Cave and Archangel Michael Cave, Baby Cave and a few of my others, and uh, did some more photos. Lo and behold, the logo for this website which is a raptor phoenix with uh, a guy popping out holding a particular symbol the ank uh, caught that and that 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 phoenix the full picture overlays a picture that i've seen on the internet literally anatomically of a bald eagle bald eagle standing on a rock with his claws and his wings up the neck, the eyes, the nose, the nostril, the mouth, the wings, the claws, totally over maps a bald eagle. Of course this raptor phoenix has a much bigger head than a bald eagle because he's a phoenix, I don't know. <laughs> and there's a guy with his spiky haircut, a bit like mine kind of. And, uh, and then the next photo I took which was about 16 seconds later has um, Durga one of the uh, cosmic female Hindu deities that comes out of the trinity from Narayani um, riding a fire beast right after like wow I didn't even I saw the Durga one first it wasn't until a couple of weeks later I saw the actual Phoenix one and that was why the Awaken well my website then got transferred across and it became Awakened Essence that's how the name came about so why phoenixes? Well 
they rise from the ashes. They are the light that comes out as the old gets burnt away. The ascension process, the growth process, the deepening through the phases of awakening process. Pretty special. Um, and then I've caught a few other phoenixes as well. I've got the Hanuman monkey one and uh, got the crested smiling pho uh, phoenix um, out at a different part out in far east Victoria. So I've managed to capture a few over the years. Uh, it just astounds me I can even capture them, especially when they're anatomically correct. That's grace talking. Those photos were actually blessed because I took uh, A2 size photos over to India when I was uh, hanging out there with Shakti Amanaraini and, and Peedam near Valor in South India and um, the story was there was they were doing a big fire gagam, a five day fire process to do with Durga in the Naraini temple, Naraini being the cosmic mother and her trinity is Durga, Lakshmi, Saraswati, the trinity just like the male trinity from Lord Father God Narayana is Brahma, the creator, Vishnu the destroyer, uh, Vishnu the sustainer, and Shiva the destroyer. There's the trinity. So there's the two trinities, and then that's how it ties into sacred geometry. Um, one of the priests at this fire yagam. I was there all by myself with the Indian priests doing things. It was getting pretty late that night because they go right into the night with those fire yegans. And uh, a little priest came up and started grabbing the photos. He didn't really speak English and he started walking off. So I followed him because they were my photos. And he walked up to Shaktiyama's car and she was sitting in the car waiting to see the photos. Literally, she'd heard the gossip somehow, <laughs> of course. And uh, she had a look and, and, and she blessed them. She said, oh, very nice which from Shaktiyama is, is quite an amazing thing. I didn't sleep that night. No, certainly not. I got fried out into the universe because of all of that. Amazing. That was why when I came home after my month there in India, uh, Lakshmi came back as well as the rest of the crew, but I was inside Lakshmi for nine months, um, really settling into the sixth phase of awakening. Non-abiding transpersonal, blazed out in the golden light, golden ray. <laughs> and I didn't have any teacher support or much here in Melbourne at that time. So 10 months of that, they were teaching me about the Golden Ray, the Hindu symbols, the Ark of the Covenant, they were extending all the stuff that Metatron and Jesus and Saint Germain and Planetary Overdeva Amethyst and all the typical spiritual crew had been teaching me for the prior two years. So that was pretty special pretty damn special and I also had uh, two rounds of transpersonal Merkaba initiations in Pedum. I already had one earlier in 2.15 in front of Arm of the Hugging Saint in Melbourne and I had the fourth one in uh, 2017 with uh, in front of in the room with Arm of the Hugging Saint when she was hugging thousands of people long before the pandemic hit. <laughs> So what I noticed after the essences and started being taught transpersonal stuff in the Ark of the Covenant material, which is discussed in the uh, 5 plus awake, advanced awakening page, it's quite interesting stuff. When I started doing healings, I was naturally going up to that place and just doing little things with people and they were reporting quite amazing transformations. They really were. And it's just like, oh yeah, no, this is all, this is all changed. So they taught me how to do that and with giving healings and sharing with people that process, well, well I didn't teach them how to do it, I was working with them, it became very apparent that this, this healing process is grace based. The Jason agendas can't, cannot interfere. If you were to be given a Phoenix healing, your personal, you know, ego, your personal wanties while it's important you set what it is you want, and this is why the Phoenix Healing is, has these, again, a set, like half a session or a session beforehand, then I do the Phoenix Healing, then we have follow-ups. Why? That's why we define it, we get really clear, what do you want, what are you going to do about it? Then I go in with the Phoenix Healing, and I work with your structures esoterically. Well, they do, I, I'm just some sort of conduit, they show me and I can do bits, but they show me what to do, so grace-based. It's, it's got nothing to do with me. You've asked for it. 
therefore it's your soul that is telling them what's required and we clear away what needs clearing away and that filters through your systems so how quickly that filters through comes down to well in terms of this website your correct presence practice and you actually doing and changing and being aware of the evidence of what your internal resistances are and how you're working with those how you're processing the emotional and mental material that will come with that because you know these sorts of blocks or processes or initiations will bring up new stuff and then have you also practicing your presence as best as you can while you start learning and bringing these new habits into your life so you know when an issue disappears your life changes in some way when a behavior changes then uh, you change in some way and people may react back because they like the old person because most people don't like change that's just how most humans are but you know change is constant and and for you to integrate that and then build the evidence that you've passed the test of the changes coming through so that's a bit of the history and a bit more of a, a description of the process with the phoenix healing we may do other slight attunements depending on what's happening with the situation but it can really help to move things stuck things life changes chronic health conditions uh, dna work which of course are the hardest things to change because DNA work means it's uh, you know to do with your genes and physical proteins at the etheric level that then affects the physical level so that's why it works at all levels like transpersonal Merkaba, your Merkaba, all your energetic structures your Shashumnas, your stellar gateway, your soul star all the way down through your earth star, your chakra systems poof, down to mother earth and she's fully enrolled with this process so if you check out the, the spiritual protection page I talk about the guardian protection protocol which I did, did with Mother Earth as of like November onwards from November 2021 really amazing it certainly had an impact with my animal whispering and the recording of the Learn Whispering course there at learnwhispering.com so that's the history with the Phoenix healing truly astounding very 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 potent and that's why it is the way it is so if you have any questions my phone number's at the bottom of the page email information's in the contact page ring me up and let's have a chat about it if you want one because you know it's, it's a serious process it really is There's that you need to be committed because you want something to shift you want it or perhaps even you really need it so that's me I'm Jason for AwakenedEssence.com 